Shout a living hallelujah. Pastor shout hallelujah. You are happy to be in church the first service in the month of July. Where it has been declared concerning you and I. I am blessed to be a blessing. Shout a living hallelujah. You know you are blessed to be a blessing. Shout a bigger and a believing hallelujah. Hallelujah. What a joy again this evening. God again is set to give you and I the word that will take us to the next level. And anytime God sends his word, it's because he wants to set someone free. It's because he wants to take someone to the next level. And what a joy again this evening, God has packaged a vessel that will be a blessing to you and I this evening. And we are privileged to have one of our pastors with us all the way from Winners Chapel Dodoma. Who God is going to use as an interpreter this evening to be a blessing to you and I. What a joy, privilege again of God this evening. As we put our hands together to welcome Pastor Charles, the resident pastor of Winners Chapel Dodoma, as he comes to be a blessing. Someone lift up your voice before the Lord and give God the glory. Lift up your voice again if you are ready for a blessing tonight. Appreciate God for this awesome privilege to appear in his presence this hour. Lift, lift up your, your voices before him. Magnify the name of the Lord in the precious name of Jesus Christ. In the precious name of Jesus Christ. Put your hands together for Jesus and please take your seat. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. It is a layer privilege to me given unto me from God and the leadership of this commission even from my father my boss with the national pastor of this nation. Sir, I thank you very much. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God is going to bless someone this evening. If you are the one, shout hallelujah. God is blessing someone this hour in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Say with me, I am blessed to be a blessing. Say again, I am blessed to be a blessing. Say again, I am blessed to be a blessing. I am not blessed to be a burden. I'm not blessed to be a cause. I am blessed to be a blessing. And that blessing that will make you to be a blessing to your world is coming to you this month in the precious name of Jesus Christ. I said that blessing that will cause you to be a blessing to your world is coming to you this month in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Now our topic this evening by the way of introduction is understanding the secret for financial blessings. Understanding the secrets of financial blessings. I want you to understand uh, uh, something this evening that where you stand in life is determined by your understanding. 
where you stand in life utakapokuwa maishani is your understanding determined ni matokeo ya kufahamu kwako no matter where you are haijalishi uko wapi as long as you acquire understanding madam tu ukipata ufahamu shortly you be outstanding in life muda si mrefu utatofautishwa maishani where you stand in life unaposimama maishani is your understanding determined ni matokeo ya unafahamu nini so when you understand the secret of financial blessing fahamu siri za mafanikio ya kifedha you eventually become a, a, a financial giant in your world mai utakuwa jitu la kifedha katika ulimwengu wako praise the lord bwana sifa also i want to i want you i want you to understand this pia nataka ufahamu hili you are rating in life kujua kwako maishani you are rating how people rate you thamani yako maishani is understanding determined ninatokana na unafahamu nini how people rate you watu wanatathmini vipi is determined by your understanding ni matokeo ya ufahamu wako is whether you under, uh, whether they rate you low, low or they rate you up is because of your understanding ni kuona thamani yako ni ndogo au ni kubwa ni matokeo ya ufahamu wako praise the lord bwana asifiwe you are rating this man thamani yako mwezi huu shall change in the mighty name of jesus christ na kwa kubwa kwa jina la yesu christ shall be changed in the mighty name of jesus christ tabalika kwa jina kula yesu christ you are rating this man thamani yako mwezi huu is changing for the better inabadilika na kuwa bora zaidi in jesus precious name kwa jina la thamani la yesu is necessary to understand this evening ni mzuri kufahamu jioni ya leo it is it takes the secrets inahitaji wewe kupata siri for you to be blessed ili upate kubarikiwa you must to in, you must encounter a secret lazima ukutane na siri of financial breakthroughs ya mipenyo ya kifedha of financial blessings ya baraka za kifedha for you to be a blessing personality on the earth ili kuwa baraka hapa duniani job became a blessing ayubu alikuwa baraka because he understood some secrets kwa sababu alifahamu baadhi ya siri in the book of job chapter 29 katika ayubu 29 verse 29 mstari 29 job is saying ayubu anasema as i was in the days of my youth kama katika siku za ujana wangu when the secret of god was upon my tabernacle siri za mungu zipokuwa hemani mwangu is it that when i washed my steps with butter hatua zangu liboosha kwa siagi and the rock poured me out rivers of oil na mwamba ukanitolea mito ya maziwa the secret of the lord was upon my tabernacle siri ya bwana ilikuwa hemani mwangu the secret of the lord was upon my tables siri ya bwana ilikuwa hemani mwangu job became the richest of all of the east ayubu alikuwa mtu tajiri kuliko wote mashariki why kwa nini because he knew something alifahamu kitu which, the, which others could not understand macho wengine hawakukielewa it takes you understanding the secret unahitaji wewe kufahamu siri of financial prosperity za mafanikio ya kifedha to become a blessing to your world ili uwe baraka katika ulimwengu wako i have good news tonight nina habari njema kwako jioni leo god has created you mungu amekuumba wewe god has made you mungu amekufanya wewe to be a blessing to your generation kuwa baraka kwenye kizazi chako you shall not die a poor man hautakufa maskini you shall not die a poor man hautakufa maskini i have a message for somebody here nina ujumbe kwa ajili ya mtu hapa you will never go to your grave begging hautakwenda kaburini ukiwa mbaomba you will never die renting hautakufa kama mpangaji in precious name of jesus christ jina la thamani la yesu christ tell me i am blessed sema nami nimebarikiwa god has blessed me mungu amenibariki god has blessed me Mungu amenibariki. It takes you to understand the secret. Unahitaji kufahamu siri for you to become a, a blessing. Ili wewe upate kuwa baraka katika ulimwengu wako. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. That's why in the uh, in uh, in our middle of services. Na ndio maana katika ibada zetu za katika ya Juma. We shall be looking on our our our, our, our fathers our, our covenant fathers tutakuwa tukiwatazama baba zetu wa kiagana what made them to prosper nini kiliwafanya wafanikiwe what made them financial giants nini kiliwafanya wao majitu ya kifedha we shall be diagnosing them tutakuwa tukiwatathmini we shall be looking deep unto them tutaangalia kina as we take spiritual uh, uh, as we diagnose them spiritually tunapofanya uchambuzi wa kiroho we shall never remain the same in the name of na jesus christ na kama na hivyo hivyo katika jina la Yesu Kristo. The Bible wants us to understand or to look upon our spiritual fathers. Biblia inataka tufahamu kwa habari za baba zetu wa kiroho and uh, get a lesson from them. Na kupata somo kutoka kwa Example in the book of Isaiah. Katika kitabu cha Isaiah 51. Isaiah 
Isaiah 51 verse 1 he said hearken unto me ye that follow after righteousness ye that seek the Lord if there's anyone seeking the Lord here say amen he said look unto the rock where ye are him and to the hall of the pit whence ye are dead sema uangalieni mwamba ule ambao mmetolewa na na kwa kuchongwa na tundu la shimo ambalo mlitolewa kwa kuchimbuliwa he says look unto abram your father sema uangalieni ibrahim baba yenu we going to look upon abram this evening nataka kuangalia ibrahim jioni ya leo the secret of financial prosperity in the life of abram siri za mafanikio ya kifedha katika maisha yake look unto abram sema mtazameni ibrahim draw a lesson from them Nifunzeni kutoka kwake. Draw a lesson from him. Nifunze kutoka kwake. Look unto Abraham. Mtazame Ibrahim. There is something I want you to understand from him. Kuna kitu nataka ukifahamu kutoka kwake. Look unto Abraham. Mtazame Ibrahim. I put something in his life. Niliweka kitu maishani mwake. Which you need for your life. Ambacho unahitaji kwa jina maisha. Look unto Abraham your father. Mtazame Ibrahim baba yenu. And unto Sarah that bear you. Na Sara aliyewazaa. I called him alone. Maana nalimwita yeye pindi yake. Bless him. Na nikambariki. And bless him. Nikambariki. And increase him. Nikamfanya kuwa wengi. Don't you cannot be blessed and not increase. Haiwezekani ubarikiwe na usiongezeke. You cannot be blessed and not increase. Haiwezekani ubarikiwe na usiongezeke. Say for the Lord shall comfort Zion. Maana Bwana atawafariji Zion. He will comfort all her waste places. Atafariji mali pake pote pale pokoa ukiwa. He will make a wilderness like Eden. Atafanya jangwa lake kuwa kama bustani ya Eden. Of your financial wilderness. Kila jangwa lako la kifedha. Is destroyed here tonight. Linaharibiwa hapa jioni ya leo. In the precious name of Jesus Christ. Kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. As it we make a wilderness like Eden and a desert like the garden of the Lord. Na nyika lake mabustani ya Bwana. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So let us look unto Abraham. Na tumtazame Ibrahim. So there is something we are to learn from the life of Abraham. Kuna kitu tunapaswa kujifunza katika maisha ya Ibrahim. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tonight I want to look on Abraham. Leo nje nakwenda kuangalia Ibrahim. We to draw some secret from him. Tutachukua baadhi ya siri kutoka kwake. What made Abraham to succeed nini kilimfanya ibrahim astawi what made abram to go forward nini kilimfanya ibrahim asonge mbele what made abram to be a financial giant nini kilimfanya ibrahim awe kitu kwa pesa ever god did to abram na kila ambacho mungu alifanya kwa ibrahim anaweza kukufanyia na wewe pia if we care to follow his steps kama utajali kufuata zile hatua so ever god did to abram kila ambacho mungu alifanya ibrahim can also do to me anaweza kunifanyia hata mimi praise the lord bwana asifiwe is a look unto him Look unto his life carefully. Draw some secrets from him. Whatsoever I've done in his life, I can do to your life. Someone tonight is changing levels. Someone tonight is changing levels. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Why Abraham became a financial giant? Why did Abraham become a financial giant? Number one, Moja. Abraham was the giver. Moja, Ibrahim alikuwa ni mtoaji. He was a giver. Alikuwa ni mtoaji. Abraham was a giver. Ibrahim alikuwa mtoaji. Listen, listen to me this evening. Nisikilize jioni leo. God does not bless the possessors. Mungu habariki wale wanaomiliki. God bless the disputers. Mungu anabariki wanaogawa. God does not bless the possessors. Mungu habariki wale wanaohifadhi tunakumiliki. God bless the distributors. Mungu anabariki wale wanaogawa. As long as you are ready to distribute. Maadamu uko tayari kugawa. Then is ready to give you what you need. Na Mungu yupo tayari kukupatia wewe unachohitaji. He will always bless the distributors. Siku zote yeye huabariki wale wanaogawa. He will always bless the distributors. Siku zote anabariki wale wanaogawa. He was sure with Abraham. Alikuwa na uhakika na Ibrahim. Abraham. Mwamba Ibrahim. He can distribute to others. Anaweza akawagawia na wengine. Abraham was a giver. Alikuwa ni mtoaji. Abraham was a giver. Ibrahim alikuwa ni mtoaji. Abraham was looking to who to bless. Ibrahim alikuwa akitazama ambariki nani. 
Abraham was not looking for what to collect. Ibrahim hakuangalia achukue kwa nani. He was looking for what to distribute. Alikuwa anaangalia amgawie nani. He was not looking for who, for what to collect. Hakutafuta kitu cha kuchukua. He was looking for what to give. Alitafuta nani ampatie kitu. One time Mekisalek told Wak- Abraham. Wakati fulani Ibrahim alikutana na Mekisalek. I will give you a portion of what you have you have gained as captives. Na akamwambia nitakupatia sehemu ya kile ambacho nimetaka kwa teke. Abraham said. Lakini Ibrahim akasema. I've lift up my hand before the Lord. Nimeinua mkono wangu mbele za Bwana. I will never take anything from you. Sitachukua chochote kutoka kwenu. Abraham was not a taker. Ibrahim alikuwa mchukuaji. Abraham was a giver. Ibrahim alikuwa ni mtoaji. Because he was a giver. Kwa sababu alikuwa mtoaji. He became a blessing to his world. Akawa baraka kwa ulimwengu wake. Grace to give. Neema ya kutoa. Receive it tonight. Pokea jioni ya leo. The grace to distribute. Neema ya kugawa. Receive it tonight. Pokea jioni ya leo. In the precious name of Jesus Christ. Kwa jina la thamani la Yesu Kristo. In the precious name of Jesus Christ. Kwa jina la thamani la Yesu Kristo. Give us never lack. Watoaji kamwe hawapungukiwi. Give us never lack. Watoaji siku zote hawapungukiwi. Those who lacks never gives. Na wale wanaopungukiwa huwa hawatoi. You don't lack as a giver. Huwezi ukapungukiwa kama ni mtoaji. You don't lack as a giver. Huwezi ukapungukiwa kama ni mtoaji. As long as you are a giver. Madam wewe ni mtoaji. You will receive. Utapokea. Jesus said. Yesu asema. I have the power to give. Nina nguvu ya kutoa. I have again the power to receive. Nina nguvu ya kupokea. I have the power to give. Nina nguvu ya kutoa. I have the power to take. Nina nguvu ya kuchukua. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. So as long as you have the power to lay down. Maana una nguvu ya kuweka chini. You have the power to utakuwa na nguvu ya kuchukua pia Mungu asifiwe May God give you understanding tonight Mungu anakupatia ufahamu jioni leo In the precious name of Jesus Christ Kwa jina la Yesu Christ In the precious name of Jesus Christ Kwa jina la thamani la Yesu Christ We shall be looking on a Elias whereby Abraham was uh, exercising giving Na tangalia maeneo ambapo Ibrahimu alikuwa akifanya utoaji Elias of giving maeneo ya utoaji exercised by Abraham ambao Ibrahim alifanyia mazoezi na kazi number 1 Abraham was a tither la kwanza Ibrahim alikuwa ni mlipaji wa fungu la 10 Abraham was a tither Ibrahim alikuwa analipa fungu la 10 he refused to collect anything from Melchizedek alikataa kuchukua chochote kutoka Melchizedek but he agreed to give something to him lakini akakubali kumpatia kitu haleluya haleluya givers will will always find something to give. Watoaji siku zote atapata kitu cha kutoa. And give us never lack. Na kama watoaji hawapungukiwi. The book of Genesis chapter 14. Mwanzo sura ile ya 14. Say with me I am blessed to be a blessing. Sema nami nimebarikiwa kuwa baraka. Say again I am blessed to be a blessing. Sema nami nimebarikiwa kuwa baraka. In the book of Genesis chapter 14. Mwanzo sura ile ya 14. And verse 20. Mstari wa 20. He said and blessed be the most high God which has delivered thy enemies into thy hand and he gave tithe he gave him tithe of all na hamidiwe mungu aliye juu sana aliyewatia adui zako mkononi mwako abraham akampa fungu la 10 la vitu vyote abraham gave the tithe of all ibrahim alitoa fungu la 10 la vitu vyote i want you to understand this evening napenda fahamu jioni leo Tithe is not uh, is not is not, is not what you want to do. Tithe is a commandment. Fungu la 10 si utashi wako. Fungu la 10 ni amri. It's not what you want to do. Sio utashi wako. It's not what you are willing to do. Sio uchaguzi wako. Tithe is a commandment from God. Fungu la 10 ni amri kutoka kwa Mungu. Those that obey is commandments na wale wanaotii amri zake became commanders on the earth wanaamuru mambo duniani became commanders of financial prosperity wale amuru mafanikio ya kifedha tithe is not uh, something that uh, uh, you are ready to, uh, uh, that, that you want to do or you don't want to do fungu la 10 sio kitu cha uchaguzi kwamba unataka kutoa au hutaki kutoa it's not a choice si uchaguzi but it is a command bali ni amri you are commanded to pay umeamriwa kutoa fungu la 10 you commanded to pay tithe umeamriwa kulipa fungu la 10 abram was a giver of tithe ibrahim alikuwa mtoaji wa fungu la 10 and abram became abram the rich na abram akawa abram tajiri you cannot be a tither haiwezekani ulipe fungu la 10 and not be a rich person na usiwe tajiri bishop redebo says ask for redebo anasema as long as you refuse to tithe Unapokataa kulipa fungu la 10 things will become tight 
tight mambo yatakuwa magumu kwako things will not be tight in your life mambo hayata kubinya maisha yako kwa kuanzia leo precious name of jesus jina la samani la yesu kristo abram paid the tithe of all time alipa fungu la kumi wa vivyo abram baba yetu ibrahim who we call him as a father tunamuita baba was a tither alikuwa mlipaja fungu la kumi any choice than to obey the commandment hatuna uchaguzi isipokuwa kutii hiyo amri praise the lord bwana sifiri number 2 la pili the area whereby abram exercised giving eneo jingine ambalo ibrahim alikuwa akitoa abram was abram had a liberal soul ibrahim alikuwa ni mkarim hallelujah hallelujah he was hospitable alikuwa mkarim He was a giver to anyone he sees. Alikuwa anaweza kumpa kitu yoyote anayekutana naye. Praise the Lord. Bwana sifiwe. The Bible says, "Blessed is he that scattereth." Yupo atawanyae. Yet increases. Lakini anaongezeka. But there is he that uh, 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 withholdeth than what he has. Lakini yupo ambaye anyimae. He tendeth into poverty. Na huelekea katika umaskini. He tendeth into poverty. Huelekea katika umaskini. But the liberal soul. Lakini ile nafsi ile ya ukarimu. Itawandishwa. The liberal soul. Nafsi ile ya ukarimu. Shall be made fat financially. Itawandishwa kifedha. The liberal soul. Nafsi ya ukarimu. Shall become fat financially. Itanenepa kifedha. This month. Mwezi huu. As you Yes this out of giving unaposhikilia hizi hali za toa see you becoming fat financially no no kinenepa kifedha in the precious name of jesus christ kwa jina la samani la yesu christo in the mighty name of jesus christ kwa jina kula yesu christo praise the lord bwana sifiwe number 3 jambo la tatu abram was was given to sacrifice ibrahim alikuwa ni mtoaji wa dhabihu Abraham was given to sacrifice. Ibrahim alikuwa ni mtoaji wa dhabihu. He was used to sacrifice. Alikuwa akitoa dhabihu to the point that even his son Isaac. Yes kwamba akamtoa hata mwana Isaac. Not confused about it. Wala hakuchanganyikiwa kwenye hilo. Praise the Lord. Bwana sifiwe. He was given himself to a sacrifices. Alikuwa amejitoa kwenye kutoa dhabihu to the point that even Isaac grew to know yes, what his father was doing. Yes kwamba hata Isaac akafahamu kutoa dhabihu ni kitu gani. Praise the Lord. Bwana sifiwe. Any time things becomes tight. Kila wakati mambo yanapokuwa magumu. It is time to sacrifice. Ndipo mahali pa kutoa dhabihu. Any time things becomes tight. Kila mahali mambo yanapobinya na kupana. It is time to sacrifice what you have. Ndipo pa kutoa dhabihu kwa kile ulicho nacho. As you sacrifice what you have. Unapotoa dhabihu ya kile ulicho nacho. You always get what you need. Siku zote utapata unachohitaji. Sacrifice. Dhabihu is the altar of turnaround. Kati ni madhabahu ya mgeuko. Sacrifice. Dhabihu will always turn your life around. Siku zote itaita mgeuko mwema maishani mwako. Sacrifice. Dhabihu is the altar of termination of evil. Ndio madhabahu ya kukomesha kila aina ya uovu. You cannot give God your sacrifice. Haiwezekani umpe Mungu dhabihu yako. Still cry. Na bado ulie. Is that when God turned the captivity of Zion? Bwana alipogeuza mateka wa Sauli. We like them that Ah, I will like them that dream. Tulikuwa kama watao ndoto. He said, he said, and then our mouth will feed with laughter. Ndipo kinywa chetu kijawa kicheko. Turn back. Ulipogeuka after doing sacrifice. Baada ya kutoa dhabihu. Sacrifice. Dhabihu will always stand the life of somebody. Siku zote itageuza maisha yako kwa wema. See tonight. Naona jioni leo. Something turning for your better. Kitu kikienda kuwa bora zaidi kwako. Something turning for your better. Kitu kinageuka kuwa kizuri zaidi. In the precious name of Jesus. Jina la samani la Yesu Kristo. Genesis chapter 22. Mwanzo 22 verse 1 to 5. Mstari kwanza mpaka wa 5. Genesis chapter 22. Mwanzo 22 verse 1 to 5. Mstari kwanza mpaka wa 5. Abraham called sacrifice as worship. Ibrahimu alitoa dhabihu kama sehemu ya ibada. He was too used to it. Alizoea Yohani. Praise the Lord. Bwana sifiwe. Praise the Lord. Bwana sifiwe. Verse 1 and it came to pass after these things that God did tempt Abraham. Ikawa baada mambo hayo Mungu alimjaribu Ibrahim. And said unto Abraham. Akamwambia Ibrahim. Abraham. Ibrahim. And he said, behold. Na akasema mimi hapa. I am. He said and he said take now thy son, thy only son Isaac, whom thou loveth and get be into the land of moriah so akasema umchukue mwanao mwanao wa pekee umpendaye isaka ukapande naye nchi ya moriah and offer him there for a burnt offering ukamtoe kama sadaka kuteketezwa huko upon one of the mountains which i will tell you of thee juu ya mlima mmoja wapo nitakao kuambia and abram rose up early in the morning ibrahim akaondoka alfajiri and sarot is us and took two of his young men Ak- with him and Isaac his son and clave the wood for the burnt offering and rose up and went unto the place 
of which God had told him. Akatandika punda wake akachukua vijana wawili pamoja naye na Isaka bwanaye akachanja kuni kwa ajili ya hiyo sadaka ya kuteketezwa akaondoka akaenda mpaka mahali alipoambiwa na Mungu. In summary, kwa kifupi he took Isaac akamchukua Isaka and went to the mountain akaenda mlimani to sacrifice. But when he was about to sacrifice the Ali, son. Alipotaka kumtoa mwanae dhabihu. Hear what God said. Sikiliza kile ambacho Mungu anamwambia. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. He said and the angel of verse 15 of the Lord called unto Abraham out of the heaven the second time and said by myself have I son say the law for because thou hast done this thing and hast not with him thy son thy only son that in blessing I bless thee and in multiplication I will multiply thee I multiply thy seed at the stars of heaven and at the sun which is upon the seashore and thy seed shall possess the gates of his of the Gentiles. Mlango wa 15 wa malaika wa Bwana akamwita Ibrahim mara ya pili kutoka mbinguni akasema, "Nimeapa kwa nafsi yangu," asema Bwana, "kwa kuwa umetenda neno hili wala kunizuilia mwanao mwanao pekee. Katika kubariki nitakubariki na katika kuzidisha nitakuzidisha uzao wako kama nyota za mbinguni na kama mchanga ulioko pwani na uzao wako tamiliki mlango wa adui zangu." When you give you enter into promised blessings. Unapotoa unaingia katika zile baraka za ahadi. But when you sacrifice. Unapotoa dhabihu. You enter into son blessings. Unaingia katika zile baraka ambazo Mungu anapa mwenyewe. It's different between promised blessings and son blessings. Kuna tofauti kati ya baraka za ahadi na baraka ambazo Mungu mwenyewe anapa. We claim the promises tunazidai zile ambazo ni ahadi god gives unto you as additions after you have done the sacrifice na mungu anakupa kama nyongeza baada ya wewe kuwa umetoa dhabihu many are claiming the blessings wengi wanadai baraka but few have entered into a son blessings lakini wachache wameingia kwenye kutoa baraka ambazo mungu mwenyewe anapa kwa ajili yako covenant blessings baraka za kiagano comes by sacrifice zinakuja kwa kutoa dhabihu any time kila wakati you see things are not going unapoona mambo hayaendi vema enter into a sacrifice with god weka dhabihu yako kwa mungu sacrifice na ile dhabihu the altar of sacrifice katika madhabahu ya kutoa dhabihu the altar of covenant with god ni pale unapofanya agano na mungu kwa dhabihu yako god will never break his covenant na kama mungu hawezi kuvunja agano lake long as you enter into the covenant with god madam unaingia agano na mungu you will always be a blessing on the earth zote utakuwa baraka pale you always be a blessing on the earth. I see this man. You becoming a blessing indeed in the name of Jesus Christ. You become a blessing indeed in the name of Jesus Christ. What is the platform? What is the platform? For giving. What is the platform? As God love is the platform for giving. Upendo ndio jukwa la utoaji. Love. Upendo. Your love for God. Kumpenda Mungu is the platform. Ndio jukwa for giving. Lako la utoaji. Bishop Edward says. Asko Fred Edward anasema. You can give without loving. Unaweza ukatoa pasipo kupenda. You cannot love without giving. Lakini haiwezekani ukapenda na usitoe. It takes love to give. Inahitajika upendo kutoa. It takes love to give. Inahitajika upendo kutoa. Therefore God so loved Mana the world. Mungu and he gave. John chapter 3 verse 16. Yohana 3, 16. He was moved by love. Kwa and that love made him to give. Na ndio Yesu kwa yetu. That love moved, moved God to give. Ule ule Mungu you cannot love without giving. Haiwezekani ukapenda pasipo kutoa. You cannot love without giving. Uwezi kupenda pasipo kutoa. I've got love as the, as the proof of your uh, 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 giving is the proof of your love to God. Na utoaji wako ni uthibitisho wa upendo wako kwa Mungu. Love. Upendo. Is the uh, giving is the proof of your love to God. Utoaji wako ni uthibitisho kwa upendo wako kwa Mungu. God wants us to prove our sincerity of our love by giving. Mungu anataka tuonyeshe upendo wetu wa dhati kwake kwa kutoa. You always prove your sincerity of your love. Siku zote utathibitisha ukweli wa upendo wako. Fire you are giving. Kupitia utoaji wako. So you cannot love without giving. Haiwezekani upende pasipo kutoa. So 
if you want the grace for giving kama unataka neema ya kutoa you need to pay for the grace of loving god omba neema ya kumpenda mungu as long as you, your love for god is sure maadamu upendo wako kwa mungu ni wa uhakika your giving will not be a problem utoaji wako hautakuwa tatizo your giving will not be a problem utoaji wako hautakuwa tatizo your giving will never be a problem utoaji wako hautakuwa tatizo praise the lord bwana asifiwe praise the lord bwana asifiwe i see you from today na kuona wewe kuanzia leo you are love fire for god moto wako wa upendo kwa Mungu kindled in the name of jesus christ ukiongezeka kwa jina la yesu kristo kindled fire this communion in the name of jesus christ wakaupia kupitia ushirika mtakatifu kwa jina la yesu upendo is what catalyze ndio kinachohuisha your giving utoaji wako love upendo is what pushes your giving ndio inayosukuma utoaji wako love upendo is what makes you to give without feeling ndio inafanya utoe pasipo kusikia huzuni au kusikitika praise the lord bwana asifiwe praise the lord bwana asifiwe a dangerous giver mtoaji hatari is a dangerous lover mpenzi hatari a dangerous giver mtoaji hatari is a dangerous giver ni mpenzi hatari praise the lord bwana asifiwe you will always give to whom you love siku zote utampa yule unayempenda you will always give to whom you love siku zote utampa yule unayempenda grace to love god neema ya kumpenda mungu receive it tonight in the name of jesus christ leo kwa jina la yesu christ receive it tonight in the name of jesus christ leo kwa jina la yesu christ receive it tonight in the name of jesus christ leo kwa jina la yesu christ grace to love god neema ya kumpenda mungu the grace to give neema ya kutoa receive it in the name of jesus christ leo kwa jina la yesu christ David was a grace giver. Daudi alikuwa mtoaji kama kichaa. Because David was a grace lover. Kwa sababu Daudi alimpenda Mungu kama kichaa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As a matter of fact, God told uh, God says that David was his sweetheart. Na Mungu anasema kwamba Daudi ndio kipenzi chake. The man that pleases. Mtu anayopendeza. The man that comforts. Mtu anayemfariji Mungu. His heart. Moyo wake. The man David Daudi was a grace giver. Alikuwa mtoaji kama kichaa. Was a grace giver. Alikuwa mtoaji kama kichaa. You cannot be a grace lover. Haiwezekani upende sana. Not be a grace giver. Na usiweze kutoa sana. And as long as you are a grace giver. Na maadamu ni mtoaji kama kichaa. You must become a grace blessed man. Lazima uwe ule barikiwa sana. Someone is blessed here closely. Kuna mtu anabarikiwa hapa kama mwenda wazima. In the precious name of Jesus. Kwa jina la thamani la Yesu Kristo. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Kwa jina kula Yesu Kristo. I've learned it from this commission. Nimejifunza kwenye huduma hii that uh, prosperity does not answer to prayers. Mafanikio haji kwa maombi. Prosperity does not answer to singing. Mafanikio haji kwa kuimba. You have to prove the sincerity of your love. Lazima uthibitishe udhati wa upenzi wako. Fire giving. Kupitia utoaji. Fire giving. Kupitia utoaji. And in the past shilos. Katika shilos zilizopita. One of the graces I was, uh, I, was, I, was, I was aspiring from the art of this commission. Moja ya neema ambazo zilikuwa zinavuvia kutoka katika madhabahu. Grace to give. Ni ile neema ya kutoa. Grace to give. Neema ya kutoa. I ask God in one of the shilos. Nilimwomba Mungu katika shilo moja hapo. The, the sacrifice I've never given in my life. Dhabiwa ambazo sikuwa kutoa maishani mwangu. I want to give to you. Nataka nikutolee. And just last year. Mwaka jana. Two months or three months before Shilo. Miezi mitatu kabla ya Shilo. God bless me with a wonderful car. Mungu alibariki na gari nzuri sana. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. As we are approaching to Shilo. Tulipo kwenda karibia Shilo. God told me. Mungu akaniambia. I want again your car. Nataka hilo gari lako. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. When I gave it back. Lipompa. God said. Mungu akasema. You will never use your money to buy car. Hautanua pesa yako kununua gari. Never. Kamwe. Those that love God. Wale wanaopenda Mungu. Never here and there for material things hata hangaikia vitu from today kuanzia leo the grace to give neema ya kutoa the grace to sacrifice neema ya kutoa dhabihu receive it in the name of jesus christ pokea kwa jina la yesu christ receive it in the name of jesus christ pokea kwa jina la yesu christ your love for god upendo wako kwa mungu in the platform ndoji kwa for you are giving kwa ajili ya utoaji wako please be on your feet simama kwa miguu yako hallelujah hallelujah ask God for that grace tonight mombe mungu yone mazi yote father baba grant me that grace nipe neema the grace to give neema ya kutoa the grace for your love neema ya kupenda for this communion kwa ajili ya ushirika i receive it kupitia ushirika wako in the name of jesus christ napokea kwa jina la yesu in the mighty name of jesus christ kwa jina kula yesu hallelujah hallelujah put your hands together for jesus pigie bwana yesu makofi as god servant comes to the lord nakukaribisha mtumishi wa mungu Has somebody been blessed here tonight? Je, umebarikiwa jioni ya leo? 
We are going to be praying before we partake of the communion. By this communion tonight, steer up love to give. Lord, by this communion, let there be a steering. Lord, steering to love you. Now, one of the things I know for every lover, Every lover never hide things from his lover. When you go all out to love him, he opens you up to the secrets. And one of the secrets God will be opening you and I up to this month is financial blessing. And by this communion tonight, we shall be praying. Father, Baba, Steer up your love by this communion. The beginning Katifu. from today, Kwanzia leo, a giver. In the name of Jesus. Kwa la Yesu. You are there, open your mouth as you begin to pray. Fungua, Can we have the pastors at the cells at the center over there move towards the communion table? As we open our mouth, the congregation as we begin to pray. Kama and the pastor kwa. over there at the city center move towards the communion table. As, as we katifu. open the table and lift up the flesh and the bread as we bless it In and the same grace Adam. upon God here at rest there. Open your mouth as you begin to pray. Father, by the communion of tonight, let there be a steering of your love. Let there be a steering of your love. Let there be a steering of your love. Let, of your love. let the Lord hear your voice tonight. Speak to him. Let him hear your voice. Lord, by the communion of tonight. Stay up love in me. Stay up love in me. Stay up love in me. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Father, we stand by privilege of heaven today. At the base here in Banana. Hapa Banana. Using it as a point of contact to the city center. Lord, we declare the table tonight blessed. We declare the flesh here tonight blessed. The Lord no longer be the unleavened bread, but be turned to the flesh of Jesus. Also, as we partake of the communion tonight, your blood no longer be wine or juice mixed with water. But be turned to the blood of Jesus tonight. The Lord, it will stir up love in our inside. In the name of Jesus Christ. And for everyone that is sick tonight, whatever thing, my Father, you have not planted in their bodies, I stand to declare this communion to go to flush it out. In the name of Jesus Christ. We therefore declare the communion here in Banana and at city center bless in the name of God the Father the Son and of the Holy Spirit in Jesus mighty name please let's be seated the ushers will direct us the choir will be ministering as we partake of the communion damu ya yesu usafisha kabisa Damo ya Yesu usafisha kabisa damo 